lab. Hello. Hello. Yay, we're live. Howdy, everyone, and welcome to Gran Turismo 4 Prize Car Randomizer, a Nuzlocke Nuz Nuz challenge. Forgive me, I can't really speak very well today, but what else is new? My throat is still a little bit sore. I don't know if it's a sinus infection or what, but we'll do the best we can. So I was a little bit inspired to do this by the YouTuber Yellowbird, and uh, he's pretty awesome. You should definitely check him out if you have not already. And uh, he did he did a challenge like this. However, um, basically in his, he did, I think, where he could have six cars. And if he lost the race, he had to sell that car and, you know, couldn't use it anymore. We're basically doing the same thing, but uh, I have a max of seven cars. However, when I lose a race, I will not be able to... Uh, well, my my max cars is actually going to go down each time I lose a race. Um, that's kind of just an added challenge I'm adding to myself. So, I don't even know if we'll be able to beat this. Uh, you know, it is randomized anyway, so we might never get a sports truck or a convertible. Um, those are probably the two most likely things I wouldn't get, I would say. Or, uh, hey, bro, son, real fan. Or it could also be... How do I do this here? All right here. Um. Yeah, it's probably a sinus affection, but we'll we'll get as far as the, we'll get as far as we can go. I do have one one pass, one audience pass, and that's only if the audience allows me to buy a car. Um, that will be the only thing. But the thing is, if I lose too many races. I'm going to be pretty much screwed because my max cars is going to decrease each time until I get down to just one car. And then if I lose again, it's pretty much going to be over. So um, so it'll end either way, you know, either once we beat the GT World Championship or once I run out of cars, whichever happens first. So, yeah, I guess uh, we'll see how this goes. And, you know, we have the best name ever, uh, Nursing Home. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so stupid. All right, well, let's get our licenses. I'm not going for golds on screen. Number one, I don't feel like it. Number two, I don't feel like it. Number three, I don't feel like it. So we'll just just do the best we can. Try to get silvers. If I get silvers, I get two prize cars. Oh, and I think I'm using automatic. Ain't I? And I did forget to change the, uh, uh, the whatchamacallit, the music. Yeah. Okay, we got a silver. Oh, yeah, ready for the grannies indeed. Hey, <laughs> with a freaking profile name like this, there ain't no telling what kind of prize cars we're going to get, man. With Nursing Home as the, as the seed name. So, for those of you who don't know, basically the... Um, uh, shoot, you know, I'll, I'll leave the music on for this just cause I don't feel like getting my playlist ready. Uh, yeah, screw that. We'll, we'll just leave it off. We'll leave it for this session. I probably copyrighted, but it's no big deal. Uh, I forget though. How do I change it to manual? Sit down here. No, that is not it. Um. Units. Nope, that's not it either. Ah, I forget where the heck to go. No, it's somewhere around here though. Race. Oh, here we go. <laughs> it was the first thing if I would just... Oh, I tell you. My three brain cells sometimes. They amaze. And how well they don't work. <laughs> Happy Saturday, Super Lazy Gamer. <laughs> you didn't do anything bad. What are you saying, Super Lazy Gamer? You're so silly. You didn't do anything bad. Hey, j -Ro. How are you doing? Hopefully you're doing well today. Thank you so much for all the Super Chats yesterday. Greatly, greatly appreciate it so much. And I shifted way late. Now I'm terrible at the start and stopping test. Uh... 
You know what? We're not going to talk about it. I, I don't know how. I got to go. I shifted late from first to second. I just completely winged it on when I broke. But, you know, we'll, we'll, we're not going to... We're not going to dispute it. It's a, we're not going to dispute that. Gosh, I sound like a dying frog, I swear. But yeah, how are y'all doing? Hopefully you're doing well. I'm, uh, you know, feel pretty good, actually, other than the sore throat. I definitely feel better than I did last night. That's any consolation. Yeah, I completely botched that, but we're just going for silver anyway. <laughs> yeah, I, I am terrible at those, I promise. I don't know what happened. I don't know how I got to go. Hey, Garrett. Good to see you. I'm all sniffly and crab cheese. Well, like someone said in the stream yesterday, a dying fro or a dying frog's better than a frying dog. So, I don't want to imagine a frying dog. That just sounds horrible. Gosh, I really did take that curve like a granny. Like, this seriously is a nursing home driver right here. I took that so slow. But yeah, max of seven cars. Um, we're going to get two from the B license here. And we'll see what, that, what those two will be. Hopefully it'll be one of them will be useful at least. You know, since I can't really lose races, um, I probably won't let Granny drive very much because, uh, well, we know what happens when she drives. Um, she, <laughs> number one, she doesn't pass. Number two, she takes the corner so much slower than what she is capable of. Number three, she's great. Enough said. Yeah, we don't want any cooking dogs. No. Oh, I'm so booty at this track. I don't know what it is. This is like the one, one lab guide run, or one of the few that I usually struggle to get a goat on. The other one lap guide runs, I usually get a goat pretty easily. But this one, actually, I'm only half a second off. That isn't that bad. Yeah, the same Sylvia test from GT1. Yeah, it's a little bit differently. A little bit different, say. So, you know, obviously different feel, you know, from G the PS2 uh, to the PS1, or vice versa. I mean, hey, Purple Gassy Goose, good to see you. And PL sucks. Oh, they'd cook and eat them when they were too old to hunt them. Oh, damn. I just couldn't do that. I couldn't. I couldn't do that with an animal that I grew up and became attached to. Couldn't do it. That's just me, though. Try not to let myself get attached to animals, though. I did have fish, but after they died, I didn't really get any replacements. Oh, 
operator for this sinus infection to be gone or whatever it is. To go back to work Monday, so. Which I did go to work. Wednesday, I guess, is when it, when the sickness started. Um, Wednesday, because my nose was running like crazy Wednesday. Just Well, it was the middle of the day Wednesday, after lunch. I would say is when it really hit. So I worked, you know, I worked Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, being kind of sick. But, you know, on Saturday, I'm still, I feel definitely better. So I'm hoping by Monday that I feel better. Uh, no, I'm playing. I'm doing the same thing, I think. Does it look bad or something? It says 60 FPS on the ball. Oh, I did forget to change it to the progressive thing. I bet I have to do that. Oh, that was a fail. Yeah, I think I, I forgot to change it. It is 60 FPS, though. But I have to go to settings, I think, and change it. Because it does not default to the progressive 480p. Yep, the lovely Viper. This test sucks. I broke way too freaking early, probably. <laughs> I thought I was gonna make it. Oh. To me, it doesn't really matter that much. Like, the graphics aren't that important to me. And also, I'm not doing the, my webcam and stuff. Okay, that works. Can I even change it in here? I don't know if I can. Then it's 16 by 9. Progressive. Is that going to look better? I don't know if it will. Yeah, for some reason it isn't looking quite as crisp, but it also could be YouTube as well, bit rate and all that. Oh, uh, somehow gold miracles do happen. Don't ask me how that was a gold. Okay, we are not doing this. I don't really care about the copywriters. We're we're getting straight to business. We're gonna get straight to the business of the Nuzlocke, which is the the races. So if we can skip a coffee breaker, we're gonna skip a coffee breaker. Nothing looks straight now. So are you saying it looks better or what? Shift it a bit light. Be alright. Get us a beautiful silver. Which is what we're going for anyway. Oh yeah, time for the bubble mobile.
That does look a little bit better, doesn't it? Hopefully. Yeah, sorry, I forgot to do that. I have not played this in a few months. I think January is when I finished my last one. And Sky tends to forget everything within a couple months. God, this thing does not corner. Turns like a tractor with these comfort tires, I swear. Coffee breakers are effing shit. Oh, yeah, I know, man. Thank you, PL. Appreciate the feedback. Yeah, um, yeah, the coffee breakers. I eventually, oh gosh, I might have to pause soon, just mucus. But uh, when I eventually go for the achievements, the retro achievements for GT4, I'm going to have to get gold on all the coffee breakers. That is going to be just a total delight. I doubt I will be streaming that. Because I, I can't imagine anybody would not be bored. Oh, wait. How is this car spinning out? Come on, Bubble Mobile. Get your act together. Get your bubble booty in gear. Like this was awful, but will we still get a gold anyway? Somehow, I'll take it. Okay, I'm gonna let y'all watch the replay of that. Oh, gosh, such a big city. All right, we're back. Oh, look at our bubble mobile go. I'm amazed that I'm getting golds on any of these, considering, like I said, it's been, been a couple of months since I've touched the game. Three months. Trouble on that one. There's just so many licenses in GC4. It's like the one bad thing. Okay, I don't know if that was good or not. I feel like it was decent, but. Oh yeah, that was decent. Oh, the bot deleting messages again. That was, oh, it's because all the cabs. I like the driving missions though, Purple Gas Goose. I think they're fun. Mission 23 is a little annoying though, the slipstreaming one. That one's a little bit annoying with the skylines. I actually, mission 34, though, I don't think is even that bad. As long as you become pretty good with the burglary. And handling the SLR McLaren can be a little bit of a handful. Because it can't decide if it wants to understeer or oversteer. Well, mostly understeers, I think. Yeah, I don't care if I didn't get a go on that. 
That one's actually a really easy one to go, but I'm not on my game today. Oh, no, this one, though. I remember the last time, I, my last playthrough, this one took a while. I don't know why, but it did. Oh, my goodness, this car does not turn. Ooh, yes. Yeah, I could, I, I still, I don't know what it is with this test, but this test... It's like the new GT2 beat, beat in. The car just refuses to turn. Okay, that wasn't that bad. go PT Cruiser kind of hard to believe but this thing actually turns better than that infinity I know I'm surprised myself careful a few sections where the pace car goes really slow and I gotta be careful not to either a hit it or B pass it corner right there I tend to overcook it better safe than sorry because we're not going for golds anyway mm. although I still get one somehow Oh, nothing to be sorry about Purple Guess Goose. It's just the bot. And I don't even know how to change that. Like, I have no idea how to make it to where the bot does not delete messages like that. Hey, Aaron. I'm doing well. How are you? I mean, I have a little bit of sore throat, but doing really good. I can't complain. Oh, you having some creamy truffle bacon and pea pasta for the evening? I've not had anything like that bristle, but must be pretty good a bit. Oh, this is the last test, isn't it, for me? Yeah, the silver's really close to the gold. Okay, we still got the silver anyway. Yeah, exactly, purple gas to goose. The silver is way prettier. Let's just be honest here. Gold kind of looks like dookie. So. Silver's nice and pretty and shiny. Oh! Interesting! Interesting first car. Okay. And our second car. 
Okay. Huh, okay. Interesting. Clearing out the Amazon boxes you store it from everything delivered. Oh, did you order a whole lot of stuff? There's more... More than you expected. Yeah, I got you the train. Good to see you. We are definitely going wild with challenges. We are definitely, definitely doing that. Alright, well, I think the Citroen Xantia, which I've actually never used before in this game. I'm actually glad the game gave me this because I've never used it before. Alright, well, how perfect that that was the first prize card we got from nurse the nur nursing home. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, nursing home. Jesus. Oh. Alright, let's see. I'll do high speed ring first. Because I know I know that I can go into the tune shop on this one. This car should be able to do this. If if I lose this race, though, oh, well, that ain't gonna be good because we're gonna automatically be decreasing our max cars. So we better hope that the Xantia pulls through. Yeah, good for French race if it's tuned to the max, probably. Oh, it's only 10 points, okay. We're real fan, we're not uh we're not going for hundred percent on this. We're we're mainly just going to get to try to get all the beginner events done. And I, I think we have to do all the beginner, the professional, and then you have the GC World, of course. Now of course, uh we will use eligible cars for other side events in order to unlock some other prize cars that could be more useful. You know. Oh yeah, this the Xantia is overpowered for this. Just a little overpowered. Go Xantia, go. Yep, nursing home's home. <laughs> yeah. Nursing home's home. Oh my gosh, man. Next day delivery. Oh, really? Delivery on Sunday? Or, yeah, just being able to have everything delivered next day made you want to buy a lot more stuff. The anticipation. Tell you what, the Xantia is... Zanti is doing really well. I don't know. I think before I would try the FF challenge, I think we probably should do a little bit more to it. Citroen Xantia. He's just craving them. As tempting as it might be to, uh, to let Granny do some of this, you know what's going to happen. We all know what will happen. Does the Xantia have... Yeah, it has a V6. It, it says it on the back. <laughs> I was about to ask a really stupid question. I like this car. I like the Citroen Zara as well. I think it's a really cute car. I've really never used Citroens that much, sadly.
Yeah, very groovy. So a beautiful car in action. Beautiful granny mobile. Oh, the C5. Did that one have a did that one have a five cylinder engine? I'm not sure. These races aren't that long anyway. Just do them in order now. I'm really, really, really scared to do any. To do any uh, B spec. I'm really terrified. As much as Granny would love to drive the Citroen, I know she would love to drive it. I don't trust her. Alfa Romeo. The MGF is actually pretty good. This is really a short race. Two laps around Autumn Ring Mini. Doesn't get much shorter than that. So yeah, I figure the the big gambles that I will have in this playthrough will be if I try to do the special conditions events. Because you know those are challenging. And also if I let Granny drive. Pretty much in any race. No matter how overpowered she is. She can manage to lose. She can find a way. Yeah, this is a pleasant car. I like it. Glad they didn't give me another FTO. Seems like the last few seeds I've done of this, I've gotten so many FTOs. Hey, dude. Hello. Hey, Samuel Darkness. Oh, really? Spyro is the first thing. Well, thank you so much for coming and uh, chatting with us. Appreciate it. And always appreciate the lurk, too, Samuel. If you just lurk. And I hope you're having a good day today and everything. And hey, Mojo Eddie. I'm doing pretty good. I uh, have a little bit of a sore throat. I don't know if y'all can tell it from my voice. I sound like a dying frog. But, you know, overall doing pretty good. I'm hoping by the time I go back to work Monday, I'm fully recovered. I think it's just a sinus infection or something. Oh, we got the bubble mobile. Which already went down the last. Big shocker. Our Citroen is on a mission. Beautiful car. Yeah, I like this granny. MGF. I, I see you up there. I may be in a front wheel drive boat, but I will still get you. Look at how far ahead we are compared to everybody else. We got the power on it, but it has the handling. Handling traction. Tire so I guess wear. we got the Citroen from the B license? Yep, we sure did. Nice.
First prize car. Oh wow. Yeah. What'd you get for uh, silver? We got an 86 MR2, which also would be pretty useful, I think. Yeah, for the MR challenge, or probably for the 80s Japanese thing. Yeah, either one of them. I don't know if it can do spider and roaster or not. I'm not sure. It probably could. Because if they can do spider and roaster, that would be really nice. Can y'all hear me? Okay, y'all can't. Good. Yeah, I'm sure Spencer. How are you doing? Doing good. I was just making sure that I was lighting up green whenever I talked. Yeah. That's really the main thing I look for. Alrighty, winning that big money. Yeah. Speaking of big money. I'm gonna be doing some more beach back stuff oh, on my PS2 copy. Yeah, that's probably one thing I won't be doing much in this playthrough. Uh, probably not hardly any beast pick because. Oh yeah. Uh, I know you and Adam kind of joined late, but basically, if I lose a race, then I have to. Not only do I have to sell the car that I lost with, but also my max amount of cars, which is only seven to start with, is going to decrease by one, so to go down to six max. Oh. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm really making this a challenge for myself. I really can't lose any races. So basically, if you if your limit goes down enough, basically every time you yeah, lose, it's you over. Get yeah, if I get down to my last car and then I lose a race, it's over. Yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of like Need for Speed Most Wanted, except a little bit different. I guess you could say that. Yeah. yeah. Is, you know the impound strike system and if you lose all your cars and you can't buy another one it's game over because mm. you fail to become the most wanted go sit and go anyways it's 24 hour time I can talk um, doing 24 hours of Lamar Thing is, I don't know if I want to do the old old Sarth or the newer Sarth. What car do you plan on using, Spencer? Well, I'm gonna do B spec. Okay. And well, I might do a little bit of A spec. I'm bored. Is one or two the old Sarth? Uh, two is the one without the chains, I think. Yeah. I don't know okay. if that's the old or new one. It's, yeah, it is. No, it, I just know it's the one without the chains. Uh, well, that's what I mean. Well, okay, well uh, without the chains would be the older one. Yeah, the same three acts I managed to hold second. I think for the uh All right, last one of the Sunday Cup. I'm thinking the 787B for the old one. Maybe. 787B is always a good choice. Yeah, I used the 787B when I did it. Um, in my before I uh, I did my 2022 A stack run. I'd say I actually do like the race music in this game. I can't say that about the other Gran Turismo's. The race music tends to get old really quickly in those. But I don't know what it is. Like in GT2, Shaker Bond. <laughs> what is it? Shaker Bond Bond or Shaker Bond Bond? Shaker Bond Bond. Lord. 
gets out so quickly. And then GT1, you had like a whole three different songs. Or three or four, I don't know. That it was cycled between. Hey, the P2 Cruiser is not playing. Currently working on the All-Stars. Yeah, right. For GT3. Super Bon Bon. Oh, I always thought it said Shaker Bon Bon. That's what always what I thought it said. Super Bon Bon. It's not much better. It still gets old after hearing it for more than five minutes straight. And I swear, every time I do the Rome, why well, I'm on the side of the road, every time I do the Rome two hour race, I would always get that song. Like, I would never get any of the other three songs. I would, it would always be Super Bon Bon. I had to listen to that for two hours straight. Like, oh. Hey, Silver Star. Autograph from Sebastian Ogier. I probably not say that right. WRC cars on Jacob Corso. Oh, that sounds like quite an honor. Congrats on that. Now, right, let's see what our prize car is. Our third prize car. Okay. Hyundai Tiburon. Okay, I can do the Hyundai one make. So, the thing is, like, for some of these cars, the thing is, like, I actually need to use them because I can't get a max of seven. So, like, this Hyundai, the thing, the only thing that it really can do on its own that nothing else can do is the Hyundai one make. So, I, need, I could go ahead and just knock that out of the way, and then later on I can sell the Hyundai if I need to. Can I upgrade the 787? You got an ad interruption. You gotta love ad interruptions. What? What? what a turd. Hey, Adam. I'm actually, I, I think for this project, I might leave the race music on, but I need, do need to lower it so that I don't have the copyright. Although it's probably too late for this session. Hey, Adam. Should I upgrade my car? That probably is good enough. I don't know. Upgrades for tires? Well, like upgrades in general. Yeah, um, if you want to. Okay. Are you using the, the regular one or the black one? Regular. I ain't got the black one. Oh, okay. I think nitrous is the cheapest. But I am glad you mentioned tires because I do need to get me some hard tires. Okay. So I could do the SARS 24 hours of the mall too. You go. I had just a little bit of ballast to this to the front. Sixty-six points. Oh, there's another seventy-seven. Let's see if we can do it without nitrous. Let's see. Oh. Since I add a little bit extra weight, they are a little bit faster. Let's see if we can catch them on the corners. Out loud. Yeah, 
bad if I don't think we're going to need the nitrous. But I got it just in case because I did not want to lose the Hyundai. It'll probably be the only one we get in this playthrough. Not that I really have to do the Hyundai Sports Festival. Fuel blind, Quit putting on their 77 B in the grid. I like this little car. Thank you. Having a rough time, Spencer? No, I was just wanting there to not be another 787B on the grid. Why? I don't know. I just don't want one. I want to be the only one on the race. <laughs> 905, R92, 5040, 39, Sauber. I'm trying to get another fuel. Did give me a pretty color of this car. Actually, do you think I could use the CLK GTR? I doubt it. Not unless you want to do the whole thing A spec. If you want to do the whole 24 hours I speak, then sure, it'll probably, you can win it. I did win in Finneon with the, in Finneon Endurance with the CLK GTR, but I did most of it I speak. Yeah. Let's do a boss. The chat is so quiet. Oh, we are winning a decent amount of money for this, actually. 5,000 a race. So. Definitely, I think, good choice to do this next. Let's just go with this. Now this race usually is infamously difficult unless you're overpowered enough because the leading car usually gets pretty big because the rolling start, they get a pretty big head start. With that ballast on the front, though, the car definitely rotates inward a little more. This is not going that great. Come on, grannies, let me by. Oh, she's blocking.
taken on. The disco stick. Whoa. Oh, May and PL totally took down the cool. disco stick. I didn't even realize that they did that, and that 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 was actually a, a thing in this game. What? The uh, whenever you start the race, these uh, fighter jets. Oh yeah, on Sarkadilla, Sarth Endurance. Yeah, they did do that. I'm gonna get you. Gonna get you. That's another good thing about GT4. Once one of the songs ends, it moves on to the next song. It's like it doesn't get old. You know? I love Hong Kong oh. with street cars. Don't like using a freaking 800 plus horsepower beast around it. That was a successful race. I'm going to have to be really careful later, though, when I sell things, because... I will eventually have to start selling stuff, you know. Because I can't have more than seven. So hopefully you and the audience can kind of help me decide what I should keep and not keep. I have to be really careful. Well, if you do sell some cars, my suggestion, I would keep some of the more rare ones, like the Launch a Delta, because that's a rare car. I don't know if we'll get a Delta or not. No, well, I'll, saying, I'll have to, the thing is, I'll have to keep stuff that I will need to do in order to, I'll have to keep stuff that will help me unlock the GT World Championship. That's what I'll have to keep, for sure. Right, that's what I would So keep. I'll have to be careful, you know, about that. Right. Boss time. Two forty three. Three two forty four. Two forty four. Two forty five. Huh? Eh? It's it's touching two forty five. Thank you, Adam, for removing the shit. Yeah, no I figured why not. imagine how hard this race must have been on brakes before the chicanes. Cold action. Well, they're keeping up with me. We're starting to wag after them now. Damn it.
Alrighty. I have a feeling this Hyundai is going to be one of the one of the first cars to go. So, at least we'll get this done with the deal. Definitely have. Uh, what's the right way to put it? It will have done a great thing. It will have done a great deed if we can win this force. track with AI's head start really gives him an advantage. But since we're all in cars that are pretty even, I don't think it matters that much. Definitely may want to hold them on longer to the Xantia though, because well, I may I could either use this Hyundai or the Xantia for the FF challenge. But the Xantia could also do the French, uh, the French Championship, which I don't really have to do that one, but you know it's another prize car. But it's also a high risk because. I don't really remember how tuned they are for that, but I want to say they're tuned pretty decently. Yeah, Samuel, I do like this Hyundai. And they gave me a really pretty color for it too. I love this color. This is a cute little car, though. I really like the Hyundai Genesis. That's a really, really nice car. I know I enjoyed using it in GT6 a few years ago when I played it. Time for me to do the next bit before I race in GT4, before I play through. Alright. I guess after this, depending on what I win, I could do the. Could do the A license next, I guess. I think I have one more Hyundai race. Let's see. Yeah, Soul. Just two laps of soul. It's a pretty, pretty short one. Oh yeah, we are definitely driving a hard rod. Look at this thing. God, I love how the AI hits that. It's so funny. 
Okay, Granny. Chill out. Lead. I need a good exit on this corner. There we go. I think I was mildly worried. Oh no, real fan. That would be cheating. No, if I exit the race before the race starts. Oh no, it no, before the race starts, that would be okay. But after I start the race, if I exit in the middle of the race and Oh shit. Grand ball. Um, yeah, that would be that would count as a loss. So, uh, but if I exit before I do the race, that's okay. As I know, especially for the special conditions races, you know, sometimes they'll give you royal different events. There's like one car that's way more overpowered than the others. Yeah. Depending on what I'm using, you know. And like if I try to do the uh, 1,000 miles, the AC 427, it's like way faster than all the other cars, I think. Okay, let's see what our fourth prize car is. Oh, uh, interesting. Could I even use that for the lightweight K cup? I don't know if it can or not. Hmm. The lightweight K cup. That is one that I was that I'm kind of that might be hard to get a car for. What's the requirement? 3,400 millimeters or less. That's the only requirement. Then. Hey, dopey folk. How are you doing today? Happy 420. Oh, gosh. This is going to be way heavier than the other K cars, I'm sure. Oh, it is. It's too. It's too long. It's 3,400 or less, isn't it? So, really. There's not even a one mate for that, is there? So I don't think I need it. We're going to have a max of seven cars anyway, so. I think I'm going to even, I think I'm going to sell that before I even reach the, yeah, before I even reach my seven car max, I think I'm going to sell that thing. <laughs> People been with you happy 420 all day. Oh, okay, before I sell that, can anybody in the audience, can y'all think of a use for that story? <laughs> it's your fault you're getting Granny Sky. <laughs> I know what I named it. Oh, yeah, dopey. Look look at what I named this one. I, <laughs> I named it Nursing Home. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you're right, Russell. I asked for this. I did. I can't think of any use for that story. Frags on its hood. Yeah, I, I think it's going. It's going. 
tried, I think. I cannot think. Compact car? But, eh, there are so many better cars that I could use for compact car. Yeah, 3,400. Let me double check. Was it 3,400? Let me check again. Yeah, 3,400. And that's like 3660. I don't know how it's 3660, but it is. What's this Hyundai? 43. Oh, it's way longer. 3950. The MR2 is not much longer than the freaking story. Oh, yeah, and of course, you're a long mama. Alright, well. Yeah, we'll just do the A license next, I guess. We're getting rid of this thing now, though. I could do the FF challenge, but we'll do the A license next, I guess. There wasn't any race music on the licenses. <laughs> I don't know how I got a gold. I mean, I didn't feel like it was a bad run, but a gold? I wasn't feeling that. Glad to see you're still here, Jayra. Glad you're eating good, Bristol. You feeling okay? I know your iron levels have been kind of giving you shrivel. Oops. Brussels says he's doing okay. Thanks for asking. Eating, and he says he's eating good at least. Glad you're doing okay, Russell. Pig Rash, you hardcore at Bloodborne last night. these ah <laughs> great use for the story of paperweight <laughs> i forget the freaking skyline has a slower launch than the audi does are, oh yeah are you like not allowed to pass the pace car at all nope Good lord, what happened there? That was. Oh, I just straight up brake checked you. Looks like it at least. My tires are uh, kind of a dark orange. Do you think I ought to go ahead and pit or wait? This car is not handling the way that I expect it to. 
I'm not sure, Spencer. Okay. I would pit Spencer. Yeah, because I've got about three dots of fuel left. Well, do you think I could go one more lap? If they're bright uh -huh. orange, I probably pit. Especially if it's Circa de because it's a fairly long trick. Oh my god. I'm spinning. I'm sliding. I'm kissing a guardrail while sliding. I'm no longer sliding good. That just happened. Yeah. And now I'm five seconds back. But, uh, you can still do it. You have over 23 hours to go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I got all day. Granny's, Granny's going to have all day today, all night tonight, and then all day tomorrow. Oh my god, I am... God, I suck. I think it's because I'm getting so used to the driving line in, like, Forza and newer Gran Turismo. That's what's causing it. Okay, yep. Yep. Hopefully your creamy trifled bacon and pea pasta was pretty good, Russell. Okay. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pitting because my car is like... Spec hard. And yes, I do want fuel. Yeah, never go with the super hards. Sounds fine. I think if you had that, you probably would be able to survive the catacombs and dark cells. Get it, because it's divine. Not funny, I'm sorry. Okay, Granny, your turn. Oh, this test is over already? Uh, ha well, no. Y'all did not see me get a bronze on that test. I saw it. <laughs> Adam, you did not. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't like bronze either, don't worry. There we go, much better. Bloody fantastic. Ooh, Arx8. Yeah, it's a nice car. Love the sound of it yeah. too. Yeah, actually, um, a, a friend of mine who's the son of my older brother's uh, caregiver, he actually got his first car recently, along with his like uh, brother or twin brother, I think, and it's an RX-8. Oh, it's uh, it's a little rough. It's got some exhaust leaks, but you know, he just I, I was. He, 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 uh, so far, he knows what he's doing, like, he premixes, and he knows not to let it get too, not to turn it off when it's cold. Oh, yeah. So. I'm honestly kind of jealous. Yeah, Mojo, I don't, I don't accept bronzes. Do not accept them. So, looking at the rules in the description, I would assume you aren't going for 100% this time? Obviously not, no. We won't be able to possibly do that. Okay. Because we're only going to be allowed to have seven cars max. 
Okay, now it makes sense. Cool. Yeah. Hey, do you know if it's possible to uh, make copies of your like, of game saves from like your actual PS2 and transport them to PCSX2? Probably is. I don't know how you do it, but probably it's possible. Yeah, I think so it is. It would be nice if I could. Okay, Skycon. <laughs> All the Brits, Brits meet up. We'll have to have us a Skycon one of these days. I have so many friends over the UK now. I just say like a hurricane warning has been issued. <laughs> hurricane warning for the British Isles. Something you don't see every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Nate Liam says it's possible, but you need special equipment. What are you doing, Granny? Floor it. Floor it, I said. I was doing 240 on that straightaway, Granny. You're no. telling me you can no. do No! You stupid pace car. You're so slow, man. Yeah, no, no. So is... Well, well, I knew that was bound to happen eventually. Right. Does the AI not floor the throttle on the main straight? Because I was doing 240, 240 plus without drafting. Oh yeah, they don't. They'll they'll usually go 15, 20 miles slower than you do. Yeah, I mean it's that's I mean, it's not a huge much like it's pretty big drop, but you know. But their tire wear and fuel consumption is always lower as well because they don't push the cars hard. Okay, yeah, you do have a point there. And the Sauber is pitting in after eight laps. Anybody else gonna pit? Let's see. The Sauber's in. And the RD9C is in. And the Jag is in. This runs worse than the last, but I don't know. You should have gone for the super hards. Just got one for Silver Sky. I don't care about getting the gold. I don't know if I'll try to get the golds off screen or not. I mean, the thing is. Part of me is curious because it could be a really useful prize car, but I mean, who knows? You never know with these things. I'm limited to a max of seven anyway, so. You're looking at coming to Scotland when you feel better? Up the East Coast Main Line by train? Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, good luck, Russell, and of course, yeah, when you you get your health all in order and stuff, hopefully that'll be pretty soon. You said you think it'll be around two years when your iron level is where, where it needs to be. Hopefully it'll be sooner than that. 
But two years isn't too bad. Oh wow, well, I got that one by almost three seconds. I have to say, uh, Brussels, Liam is a really good host. If you ever do go to Scotland, he'll definitely, uh, definitely give you the tour. This test. We don't talk about this test. It's gonna take me five years just to get a silver at the Or never mind. <laughs> Don't ask me how, but I will take hey, it. <laughs> I will take that. Mm. I'll take that ball and run. I think going down the first gear is not a good idea for this. Russell, Aaron, Thomas, Lindsay, Tina. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely more. I think. Yeah, Savior. I think there are some more people who come to these streams who also uh, live in the UK. But I'm drawing a blank as well. Yeah, yeah, definitely be feeling better before two years. Yeah, I sure hope so. Oh. Probably still could have got a silver there. Just redo it. You know what? Oh, no, I totally not seen this. Oh yeah, there's Joycey as well. I think Joycey lives in the UK. There are more also. My brain just a little bit slow. Yeah, this has been awful. But let's see if we can still get a silver. No, we are not. Sucks balls. Messed up already. What? Is, what is the deal with this test?
my gosh, what is going on? Super lazy game, but there probably won't be any granny in this project. Hey, unless I somehow get to the endurances, if we get that far. I think I'd be good at this test considering it's in GC1 and I usually go with it on like the second attempt in GC1. This car does not turn. Jesus Christ. It just doesn't turn. This is still not going to be a silver, is it? Nope. This is, this is actually embarrassing. It's the last corner that's killing me. I messed it up every attempt so far. Finally did it right. I don't know why it took so long. The hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of laps that I've done around Trial Mountain in my lifetime. I think we're gonna be stopping soon. I'm getting kind of, yeah. I think, <laughs> I think my driving speaks for itself. Hearing my voice, uh, somebody's mic. I'm pretty sure I am. Spencer, I don't know if you're here. I think it's on yours. Okay, maybe a little bit. Back to trial mode. Actually, I bet it's my TV, so. Oh, is that I'll what just it is? Go well, yeah, when, I, when, I, when I talked, though, I was hearing a little feedback. So I don't know if you have your headset on or not. Oh, no, I don't have the heads. I don't have any headphones on at all. Oh. My uh, computer has a built in microphone, so I use that to communicate. Yeah. And of course, the audio is just coming out of my speakers, my computer speakers. Yeah, so that's probably why I'm having a little feedback. Maybe. Maybe if I... This score does cancel most of it, but it's not canceling at all. Bring you down to 100. Bring you down to 100. How's that? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't hear it right now. Okay, that might be why. So... Oh, 
<clears throat> yeah, so we finish the A license, we'll get a couple more prize cars. Miss this hit. It's okay. So I'm using the Toyota GT1 stealth car for the 24 hours of Lasarth with the chicanes. Alright, good look. Oh, I actually got a gold surprise. Yeah, last one. Oh, the burger. Okay. Probably get a gold first tip. Usually takes me a few attempts to get used to the car and everything. Not too bad, actually. Not too bad. <laughs> Motor to Daria, Arc 7 is not the right color. Scariest track in the game. I love the burgering, though. What would be the right color for the Arc 7? Black? I think the Arc 7 looks best in black, in my opinion. Alright, let's see what we get. Nursing Home got the A license. Oh, now that is useful. Very useful. A good car for, for special drive conditions. Challenge. Four wheel drive. Also, stars of Pleiades and Boxer Spirit. Yeah, that's a that is actually we will not want to lose that car for sure. Oh, this is also a good one. Speaking of RX sevens and black, actually very nice. I actually like that. Very good. Oh, you think the right color is red for the spirit or type A? I'm not... Some cars look really good in red to me, but uh, red just not my not my favorite color. TVR purple. You're right, Bristol. You're so right. TVR purple, heck yeah. We we will we will avoid the rally until the very end, like until we just have, like that'll be our last desperate attempt to try to get a car that we really need. Because the thing that's going to be hard to get probably will be a K car. I don't know if this. Oh yeah, this cannot do this convert. This cannot do the convertibles. Okay. Sport truck. Sport truck's going to be hard to get something for. Uh. I don't know how much they're going to be tuned. I think the MR challenge might be kind of hard. I have to be careful with this. What would be harder, the MR or the... Hmm. 
I'm gonna get the nitrous for sure. I have a feeling in that MR challenge, they're gonna be way faster than I am. Yeah, this just doesn't get that very much use. Preview the MR. Yeah, I don't remember how much power they have. Five races. Two hundred fourteen. Okay, that ain't too powerful. We'll be fine without the flywheel. I think we could do it. I don't think it makes that much of a difference. All the ASL is pretty fast. Oh, I cannot turn off the driving aids. I don't think. Turn off the driving aids um, this way. Because I really don't like them. Yeah, our car should be a little bit lighter weight. Plus, I do have the nitrous. If I really need it. Alright. Oh, 118 points. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be hard. I think we're probably gonna need the nitrous. They yeah, are definitely faster. Oh, the NSX is blocking me. But yeah, it was kind of gone. And we got plenty of laps. And we really don't want to lose this MR2 because this is also a good candidate for some rally events. But at the very least, it's a good candidate for the 80s. This is one of the best starter cars, I'd say. It's really good. Yeah, the old generation MR2 is beautiful. Good little cars. Oh yeah, this Cleo is leaving everybody. I don't know if it's stronger than the ASL or not. We'll probably see the ASL again in one of the other races. Yep, I swear, I, I love a lot of the 80s cars. The, oh, the Clio starts in the front again. Okay. Oh, we do have the ASL though, so I guess we can say how it does.
since it has to get around everybody. I doubt it's going to do that great. fast. Yeah, Cleo is very fast. be fine no? yeah pretty good little gap by the end Oh, ASL was only fifth. I guess after this, we could do the 80s or we could do the FF challenge. One or the other. Well, the NSX Type R starts in the front. That might be even faster than the Clio. I'm definitely going to have to use the Nitrous here. They're just tons of straights. And yeah, we might be in trouble, potentially. Especially when I'm driving like this. The thing is, I have to rely on the corners to beat them. If I don't corner well enough, we're screwed. Because even with the nitrous, I can't. I'm not faster, you know? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. AL still is weird. It had good look at the same though, yeah, I would agree. Why can I not drive on this track today? This is really, really bad. Okay, we are even further behind. Ooh. 
The good news is the AI does take this last corner here really slow. They take all the corners pretty slow, but the thing is I took them all slow as well on lap one. We might be losing the MR2 here. Wish I had another lap. Yeah, this NSX is just not... Not giving me a chance. Yeah, I'm further. How am I further behind? Yeah, yeah, we're just. We lost it. It's gone. Yep. Thank you, NSX. I appreciate it. That sucks. Yeah, it was weird because, like, the first two races I did um, perfectly fine, but. The NSX was just something else. It was was gone. All right. Well, let's get rid of that. All right. So our max has decreased to six. So six is now our maximum. Guess we'll try the FF challenge. I don't know if I'll get... Well, I don't really need an 80s car. I'm sure I'm bound to get another MR car at some point. So, that losing the MR2 really wasn't that big of a deal. I probably was going to have to sell it eventually. Make sure we don't lose anything else. So. Yeah, even with the nitrous, I had no chance. Like, I don't even think even taking the corners perfectly, I don't think I was gonna have much of a chance. Like it was just gone, and of course it started in the front. Because of course, why wouldn't it? Should, should be able to do the FF, maybe. I think our car is pretty heavy. I had a little ballast so for a little better turning. Yeah, now I already turned off the driving aids. All right. 54 points, okay. We're pretty even. Not really underpowered or overpowered. Okay, but lovely, we have wheel spin. I love wheel spin. I think this Mirage is fast. The Citroen shall remain undefeated. Get y'all's booties back there. FTO losing to the Mirage. <laughs> that Mirage is not playing.
For an FF car, it actually handles pretty good. I actually enjoy using it in the Mirage one night. Actually, killing on some hell. If I know we're not really overpowered, the Citroen's just just that good. I think the FTO also has a V6. You would think it would be a four cylinder, but I think it does have a six cylinder. No, maybe I'm thinking of the Mazda Lantis. No, the Lantis is six cylinder. Epic Mini, you can read the description. It'll explain it. It'll explain it. Basically, I have a max of seven cars. If I lose a race, I lose the car, and my max is going down. Now, I wouldn't have to do that particular part, but it's just an extra challenge that I added to myself. So, so yeah, and if I lose another race, uh, my max will go down to five, and so on. It'll just keep decreasing until eventually I run out of cars. <laughs> Gotta love the Renault I have in time. What a beautiful granny. Just grainy. So maybe recording the 24-hour race is not a good idea right now because we're supposed to get some thunderstorms in tonight. Ooh, yeah. And I'm gonna not avoid. I'm gonna avoid not doing it for now because I'm. Yeah, to you avoid wouldn't want to get race. two or three plus hours into it only to lose it all. Yeah. Hey, Demon Lord Jeff, good to see you. How you doing today? And Nick, good to see you as well. Frying dog hurricane. <laughs> Oh, crap. You made me run off the road, Nick. How dare you? <laughs> so, y'all, yeah, well, I figure... I figure I might actually stop after doing the FF challenge. Let's see, you there. I don't know how long this Nuzlocke, Nuzlocke's gonna go. Cause if I lose, you know, if I lose uh, six more times, it's pretty much guaranteed to be over. Doing pretty good, Demon Lord. And I figure after this stream, I might take 
a short break and then maybe maybe do some more Dark Souls as possible. We're also doing a Nuzlocke with Dark Souls. It's real fun. Tell you what, this Citroen is not playing. It is, it is doing excellent in every race that it's doing. I'm glad you're doing all right, Nick. I am feeling better today myself. But I do want to take a break pretty soon, though. Use the bathroom, get some water. I think I'll just let the replay go to get some, uh, be right back. Yeah, you look forward to some Dark Souls, Jeff. We, we may very well do that, actually. I'm not surprised that the Avent Time got last. I mean, come on, it's the Avent Time. All right, I'll be right back. Don't go on anywhere. emoji. How's it going? I will be right back. I'm so sorry about that, y'all, but I really had to go. <laughs> I'm no so problem. sorry. Oh, hey, uh, nerd, good to see you. Yep, hydration, super, super important. Gotta stay hydrated. So I'm gonna take a drink right now, but I am almost out of water, so. Figure I'll do this very long, very much longer. Get me some water and take a little bit of a break. Then we'll do some dark cells more of our nuzlocke of that which i'm having a blast with by the way i'm having a blast with this as well though i'm interested to see what other prize cars we're gonna get all oh, that mini cooper is as fast oh 80 points okay so we're a little bit underpowered i think the mini cooper s probably is the best car in this but At least it doesn't start in the front, so not really that worried. Oh, 
Okay, golf, or whatever you are. I know you're a Volkswagen of some kind. You don't play racing games, Jeff. Hey, it's okay. I'm just glad glad you're here to chat. We're um, it's pretty relaxing doing this, you know. Like, well, with me, I grew up playing racing games, so even though you wouldn't know by how how I'm driving right now, but. You know, since I grew up playing them, it's pretty relaxing. But, uh, Dopey Poke, my friend Liam, he, uh, did not grow up playing racing games. But he did do Jarrett Labonte soccer racing. It took him a while to get used to it, but once he did, it turned out to like it pretty good. Still not his favorite thing, but I think he did enjoy it a little bit. Leo is, I think, I think if the Mini Cooper had started in the front, we would have been in trouble. Because I think it's probably better than this Cleo. I don't know, this Cleo's pretty good too. Cyberpunk drive missions. Yeah, I know about Cyberpunk, but I've not ever played it before. Okay, we better get the lead because if we lose this race, that means the Citroen, the Xantia is going to be gone, and I can't be having that. Careful. Don't want to hit the inside of the wall. Thank you for the hearts. I love y'all too. Oh, yeah, Dopey is hilarious to watch. Dopey's cool guy. Glad I had the, the honor to meet him in person as well. Oh, it's Cyberpunk. Good now. Not glitchy mess like it was on release. Yeah, yeah, some games are like that. Just completely complete a complete mess upon release, because they get rushed, you know. Alright, a couple more. Oh, the SRT4 and a Taurus show. Interesting. 72 points. This is the race of big boats right here. We got a Opal Vector too. Yep, a bunch of big boats. Big old heavy front wheel drive boats. Land boats. Nice clean pass on the outside. You can't complain. Oh, one of your favorite games alongside Souls. I don't know if Gran Turismo 2 is a classic example of Rush, Nick, because despite being a little bit rushed, it turned out to be an amazing game. Like, and it's really hard to see that it was rushed, except a couple of things, you know like the drag racing that ended up not being in it.
Yeah, uh, Jeff, I'm new to, to Soulsborne, but. And I've only played Dark Souls 1. But I am loving it. Oh, completely missed it. I'm, I'm utterly addicted to, to Dark Souls 1 right now. It's like all I really want to play at the moment. Hey, Nocturnal Tina. Good to see you back. I'd say a good example of a game that was rushed would be Spyro Enter the Dragonfly. Now that game is a very good classic example of a game that was rushed. Because it just ended up being a disaster. Mojo Eddie. Cyberpunk game had glitches ever since it got released. Yeah, but at least they have been fixing it. <laughs> yeah, Jeff. Yeah, that's the only one I played. Liam is really trying to push me to to do uh, Dark Souls 2 pretty soon. I think what I may do is after we finish this Nuzlocke, I may just put a poll for y'all to decide because I, I am a little bit torn because I really do want to do this uh, randomizer stats randomizer challenge in Dark Souls 1 um, however I think I'll put a poll for y'all to vote on it once the Nuzlocke's finished I really Dark Souls 1 was rushed and out of budget oh wow I wouldn't have known that I did hear that um, Lost Isolith was kind of an area that was rushed but I know a lot of people hate Isolith but I actually I actually kind of like that area. It's really not that bad. And the funny thing is, normally fire and lava areas and games kind of frustrate me, you know? But in Dark Souls, I feel like it's one of the more relaxing areas, which is weird. Because the enemies really aren't that annoying, you know? So, uh, the traps and the plat, you know, there's. It's just not as annoying of an area, I feel like. Have some sour Haribos, some ale. All right. Sour Haribos, what is that? Is that a candy or something? Never again will souls be rushed because we can have something worse than the bit of chaos. <laughs> yeah, the bit of chaos. Yeah, that's, hmm, yeah, that's pretty rough. The saving grace is that they at least do give you checkpoints. Like, that actually makes it not too bad. I cannot imagine doing that boss with no checkpoints. You know, like if it were like the other bosses, and when you die, you have to redo the whole thing, you know. And the walk back is a little tedious. Good candy. I don't mind the bed of chaos that bad, but I don't think I like it as much as I did the first time though. Tang Fastics. I don't like it as much as I did before because uh on my last playthrough, which I'm doing off screen, uh, I did the beta chaos and I died like six or seven times. That stupid thing. Um, but it was—it's because I was rushing because I already knew how to do it. Whereas you know, the first time I play the game, I'm being patient and taking the time. But now that I—I'm so overconfident, knowing what I'm doing, I'm rushing and. The Bed of Chaos is not very kind to you when you rush. Uh, let's just say that. So I ended up dying like seven times, but I definitely figured out my mistakes. Um, but yeah. But yeah, just imagine it without the checkpoints. Oh, God. It would be so awful. But really, with the checkpoints, I don't think it's that bad. Like, I 
I think it's interesting. You know, it's different than the other bosses. It's different. I'm definitely in the minority on this stuff. I know most people despise it completely. I really do like this Xantia. Speaking of no checkpoints, if you want to play a game with no checkpoints, try Cuphead and Mugman. Oh, I've heard of Cuphead. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'll pass on that. Oh, me too, dude. <laughs> Need to make up for a pint party. Yeah. Need to have a meet up at some point. Oh man, small enemies spawning as you progress and they fly. Ooh. Yeah, like even, you know, something like the freaking mosquitoes. Just imagine dealing with them while you're doing the bed of chaos. Oh god. It really would be the bad chaos then. Zena the Xantia. Come on, Zena. Cuphead is too much, yeah. Yeah, I've heard. A flying robot. Yeah, when I hear flying robot, I already know it's too much. Sacro is a masterpiece. You like making your characters build too much to place it, number one. Yeah, so the character creator isn't. Or, you know, there's not as much difference between the builds and stuff, I guess. Yeah, that would really take the fun out of it. How bad of suffering. That's 444. All right, well, let's see what our next prize car is. Ooh, this is useful. 300ZX. Oh, yes, yes, that's very useful. All right, well, sadly, though, our max amount of cars is only six now, so. Let's see here. Yeah, we already have five cars. Hey, Nocturnal Tainty, you live in the, um, you live in the UK as well, don't you? Okay, for the final thing, let's just do the Z1 make. Okay, I think if I end up having to sell one of these, I feel like the RX-7 will be more useful than the 300ZX, so. So I think I'll use, the R I'll use this. Okay, we'll win a decent amount of money from it. None of these races are super long. Not super short. Either.
dare I trust Granny? Probably shouldn't. Spend all of our money, but should get it all back. Yeah, I'm not a big people person either, uh, Tina. Definitely not. Not, in, you know, like as far as parties and stuff, I'm definitely not a party person. <laughs> you think they can make a souls like game on the French Revolution? Oh, they are. I mean, they're good. Cannot have died. Okay. Oh, nine points. Oh, I probably did not need to sink as much money as I did in this car. But then again, it is Granny we're talking about, so. Um, so we're going to see if Granny can win the remaining races. If she doesn't, then we lose another car and our max goes down, so. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm driving like booty. Featuring creepy hot French maid robot. French revolution souls. Oh yeah, I definitely want to play more souls. Survival horror souls will be a dream come true. Resident souls. <laughs> This 350Z is fast. I mean, my car is pretty much stock. Well, with a weight reduction stage one, I think. I'm driving. So badly. Really don't want to use the nitrous. Man, I know I could easily win if I use it. Take Bloodborne and remove the melee weapons. Swap blood vials for herbs and make the monsters more schlocky. And pay him done. Yeah, it raises its souls.
me your 350Z. And I'm only slowly gaining on him. See why it was only a nine point race, so the other cars are way back there. Cannot afford to lose this race. Oh shit. Oh shit. Super clean. Super, super clean. <laughs> Ultra clean racing here. Wrestling souls. Now the way to win the term is by beating your opponents. If you lose, say goodbye to your progress and start again with no random fight. No two fights are the same. Interesting idea. That was close. Let's see, which one would be the easiest? Probably El Capitan. Ah, Granny. Oh, the 350Z starts second. Okay, but we're gonna give Granny the racing tires, the computer chip. Yeah, I think that's all. My, but she's gonna do what Granny does best. Stay behind the slow ass underpowered car. This is Granny's first race, but you know what happens if we lose Granny. We're screwed if we if you lose. Oh, she's actually, oh my gosh, she's actually trying to pass. Oh, that 350Z is gone, though. And we're not gaining on it very quickly. There are two more laps, though. Oh, Granny could do this. Come on. Yeah, Granny is best at being the worst. Yep, she sure is. Come on, Granny. This music sounds so weird, sped up. Car sold's pretty much what we're watching right now. Oh, uh, she's not overpowered enough to pass it. That's the thing. Unless she does it on the corner, which she's awful at doing. Despite having better tires. Come on, Granny. Here you go. That was your chance. Yeah, she's going to lose, isn't she? I think we're going to lose the 300 ZX. Unless Granny does it right here. There you go. Come on, Granny. Oh, my God. She's doing it. Jesus, man. That was scary. I actually thought, I actually thought we were going to lose the 300ZX. If this is on the driving park course, would have crashed into pit lane five times. Yeah, it would have definitely shot. I, lo I love watching AI do that. 
If that 350Z starts in the front, pretty much. Oh, yeah, Granny shouldn't have any problem with this. Well, shouldn't. What is the key word. Then again, she's still. There we go. Yeah, his car isn't that fast, so she shouldn't be hitting the walls. The prick pig crew are the Estes flask, yep. Exactly. Yeah, every time you hit the pit stop, you're resting at a bonfire. Yeah, GT6. GT6. I really enjoyed that one a lot. Lollygagging Granny. Oh. Grand Valley Speedway Reverse. Speaking of Gran Turismo 6, I actually started playing it a couple weeks ago. Hmm. For the first time in a couple years. Okay, she should be able to win this. Oh yeah, she's already got the lead. Okay. We'll speed through this race then. Razor 3 remake was actually kind of souls like with how the dodges work. 4 remake has parries. Yeah. I think they're going in that direction. Yeah, all of these cars were slow. We had one 300ZX. Oh, they did have the Z33. I didn't even notice it. But it started out in the back, so. Alright, Laguna Seca. Okay, the 350Z starts at the front. But I can just reset the opposition. That's not against the rules. Mm, no. I say you there, 350Z. You are not. You are not tricking me. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just do this ourselves. Let's do it ourselves. I don't trust Granny. Turkey disease trying to get around already. I'm having a hard time keeping the car on the road.
Oh shit. Oh shit. Hey Zachary. How are you doing? We are we're in the Club Z right now in our D4 Prize Car Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge. We've done the B and the A license and then what else have we done this session? The Sunday Cup FF Challenge. We tried to do the MR Challenge. Um, tried. I think that's about all we've done. Oh, we did the Hyundai one, mate. Yeah, that's pretty much it. But I think this is the last thing we're going to be doing. I hope you're doing well today. What happened to the MR challenge? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, we'll see what our prize car is for this. I don't know if it'll be anything useful or not. We'll see. Wouldn't it be weird out of all the runs that I did, did I get a Formula GT on a random championship from, in this seed? <laughs> that would be weird. That would be wonderful. Yeah, we definitely would not want to be losing that for sure. That's a keeper. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I prefer the midnight purple color myself, Sam. Although the blue is a, uh, is pretty as well. I like the green also. Purple definitely takes the cake. Mark, I've never played. It. On the Musha Warlords. Tank controls, oh lord. Made by Capcom, though. Oh, I know Liam loves Capcom. That's his uh, Resident Evil. Yeah, the ones who made Resident Evil, I'm pretty sure. I love how I'm winning this race by 11 seconds, but Tokyo, I barely could win. The AI is so much better. I feel like Tokyo is one of the best tracks for the AI in this game. Like, they're just really good at Tokyo somehow. Yeah, this is a Nissan 300ZX. Sure is. Uh, actually won our money back and and then some oh actually another useful that. prize car for sure devil may cry mega man street fighter so many amazing those were all made by capcom guessing We're at. 
Okay, the Subaru is more useful than the Lancer is, but I can do the Lancer. I can do the uh, Ev Evolution One make, and that one's actually a pretty short one. I think I said I was gonna stop, but let's do it real quick because I think it's pretty short. Think. Gonna get this. I hope it's only three races. Oh, it is. It's just three races. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This is a really short one lap of Tokyo. That also means you don't have much of a chance to catch up if you make a mistake. But I don't think they really tune them very much in this, so. 116 points, okay. We're definitely going to be needing the nitrous, I think. Lancer's your second favorite Japanese car? Yeah, you can't go wrong with the Lancer. I always do love me a Celica GT4, though. Definitely have to use the nitrous. So just one lap around this race. The sad thing is, because I'm restricted to, in this Nuzlocke challenge, restricted to a max of six cars. It was seven, but it went down to six because, well, <laughs> you know what happened. Um, I might actually have to get rid of this car imminently, depending on what my, depending on what the prize car for this is, because the Subaru is going to be more useful. It has more events open with it that the Lancer can't do, you know. Like, you know, the Lancer can't do Boxer Spirit or Stars of Pleiades, but the Subaru can. Sadly, they stopped making the Lancer Evolutions. Hopefully, they'll come back. Maybe if Mitsubishi can. Oh, this one is really fast. No, you don't. Uh, I can't remember what the Evo meeting gave you in the original game, Samuel. Um, this is the random price car randomizer, though, so it could give me anything. But I don't remember what. It gave you an original game. Did it give you something like the Mitsubishi HSR concept or something? I, I can't remember what you got from this. Yeah, that, uh, man, that one Lancer was really fast. Oh, yeah, that, that uh, TME edition. Tommy Mackin. The HSR concept, you win that from the Japanese. Oh, you think they're going to come back in 2025? Yeah, I was hoping so. Maybe if Mitsubishi can make a comeback, maybe they'll bring the Lancer back. That would be wonderful. That would be nice. Because the Lancer has, like, along with the Impreza, it's, it's been, like, one of the, and the RX-7, the Supras, of course, like, all those were, like, Top notch Japanese cars, the skyline, nobody can forget it. Oh, yeah, I hate 
take him long to get around that silver one. I'm good, Alex. How are you doing? Yeah, I mentioned the Super Zachary. I think they, I think the Super did come back, didn't they? They made that new Super. Oh, and also the NSX, of course. Jackie Chan promoting Mitsubishi cars and all his movies. Only good guys can drive on bad guys. Subarus and Skylizers, Supras. <laughs> the bad guys drove, drove the other ones. I guess I'd be a bad guy because I'm more team Subaru or Toyota. Because the Celica GZ4 was always my favorite. I don't think Sky will be doing the thousand miles, Alex. <laughs> yeah, Alex, we're doing a Nuzlocke challenge, so we're not going for a hundred percent in this. I don't think it would be possible to go a hundred percent with this particular challenge. That was wild. But like I'm playing Tokyo Drift or something. Yeah, the NSX is overpowered in every Gran Turismo game. I don't want to talk about the NSX, it's already made me mad. <laughs> Yeah, we also have the we have the Subaru as well. So if I do have to sell this, I do still have the Subaru. That's the thing, though. I gotta be really careful because I don't want to sell something that's super important. Hey, I'm back. Welcome back. Hour and 51 minutes into the race, and Granny's doing good. Oh, oh wow. That's unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, she spun out a, a few times. Maybe, like, five. Okay, ten. <laughs> but she's got a pretty fucking huge lead over the Sauber. <coughs> so. Go, Granny, go. Did you put a turbo kit on it? Huh? Did you put a turbo on it? I don't... I think so. It has 900 horsepower. Is that... Well, actually, yeah, that is. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's... Oh, yeah, I did upgrade it. That's right. I forgot. Because I did it... I did the, uh... The freaking... Uh... Whatchamacallit, uh... Um... What can I do with it? The World Championship. That's right. About a minute ahead, so. I guess sometimes you have to give Granny the right tools. Oh yeah, she has to be overpowered. Granny loves that power. Yes. She also likes her new shoes, you know.
really like the Evo 3. Oh, we got a lot left, Zachary. Uh, this is always session one. Pretty much all we've done is the B and A license and then a few of the beginner events and uh, some one bikes. Pretty much, we our goal is ultimately to get to the GT World Championship and beat it. And winning a winning a prize car that will be capable of winning the GT World Championship in itself might be kind of hard. I'll probably have to get through a decent chunk of the game before I obtain something like that. But we'll see. I might, I might possibly off-screen gold the license test, and then in the next session, I'll show y'all what I got, and then we'll just sell the stuff that we're not going to use. This is a very fun track, Mark. I, I like it. I love Club Sage Route 5. All right, I think that's our final race of the session, though. Let's see what our prize car is. Uh, our next session, probably next Saturday, I figure. Unless I decide to do a session tomorrow, we'll see. But definitely next Saturday. Unless something pops up, which I don't expect. Okay, see what our final prize car is for the session. Honda Accord Coupe EX. Okay, I can say with 100% certainty that is going to be sold. <laughs> now, because, uh, yeah, there's really nothing. Yeah, there's really nothing I could use that with. And I'm restricted to... I'm down to having only six cars, so... Yeah. Yeah, I don't need that. I do like it, though. All right, yeah, so in the first session, we got 4% done. Would it be possible if I did, like, an, a Nuzlocke challenge using, like, doing everything A-spec, but completing not just the GT World Championship, but the Extreme Hall? Okay, there we go. I don't know. Probably in the original game, it would be pretty easy. Yeah, that's because, what I mean. Because the original game gives you all the cars you need, so... It wouldn't be that hard in the original. Okay. Doing the prize car randomizer, though, it makes it more complicated because you don't know if you're going to get the cars you need. Right. It makes it more interesting. All right. Sorry, Accord. Just because I'm thinking I'm about doing it, you have to go. later on. So, yeah, these are our six cars that we're dealing with um, so far. I don't think this Hyundai Tiburon has much use from here on. Because we already did the FF challenge. And I mean, I have better cars for all the other events. But I did enjoy driving this. But sadly, we're restricted to six. So that'll probably be the next thing I end up selling. I, and, and honestly, the Lancer's done all that it has you know, to do. Like the remaining things, assuming I don't lose the Impreza. If I lose that, I could be in trouble. Um, I really got to make sure I don't lose this because, well, we got to do Boxer Spirit with it because I might not get another Boxer car. So 
so yeah we will we'll see what happens i guess in the next session so y'all have a great one um i probably will be doing some dark souls in a few minutes from now i would say 15 20 minutes something like that um i would say before 45 after we'll uh we should be ready as long as Liam, Liam's up for it, we'll see. Yeah, Game and Train. Um, I have already, I have already used a car that I've never used before. This Citroen Xantia. I don't remember ever using this car, um, but it's done pretty good. It uh, is definitely served us well thus far. It was our first car we won. So yeah. So yeah, definitely a fun challenge. But yeah, I'll see y'all in a little bit for some Dark Souls. Looking forward to it. Y'all have a great one.